Hello folks and thanks for tuning in to fizzdesigns.co.uk um, It's Gregory here, we're just going to run through a quick tutorial on how to add YouTube videos to your WordPress website. So let's get started. So what you want to do is, you want to log in straight away to your WordPress website and when you get in this applies to either your WordPress pages or your WordPress posts. So it doesn't matter, it's the same process. Okay, so what you want to do is get to the page in question um, come into the section where you're wanting to add it. So we're just going to do it here just now. Um, so a wee bit of text. And we'll drop the line. Okay. Once we've done this, we can either jump back and forward. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what's going on here, this is the visual side. This is just like the text you would type in normally. Um, if you're more of a um, HTML geek or if you're a web designer like ourselves, uh, you'll find that you can come in here and I'll start adding code, HTML code, etc. Um, but to be honest, for the more novice users, we want to be keeping it simple and I'll show you two ways of adding videos into your post. Right, first and foremost, jump over to YouTube. That's our YouTube channel. Um, let's scroll down and grab a video. Hello folks. Right, there's a, a, an alert tutorial video that we've done in the past. Now, once you're on YouTube, if you come down, this is the same for all YouTube videos. If you scroll down and you go to the share section and then click on the embed tab, what that will allow you to do is copy this iframe code. So you can copy it and actually go back to your website and paste it in. Now what will happen is if you paste it into the visual section, this is just the normal text section, this is exactly the way it will look. It just look like a big long line of code. So it doesn't actually pull the YouTube video in for you. So that's a mistake. What you want to do is you want to say mark the spot with a few Z's or a few X's and then you want to jump across to the text section and then as and where you see that, you can just go like that and paste in your text. So your iframe text code will always go in the text section. And when you jump back over to visual, you'll see that it's in. All right, now that is probably the more long-winded option. What you can also do is, we'll just take that out. You can also go back to YouTube, find yourself a video, and go to the, let's see, I'll see it here. Go to this. This is just the URL. Just cut it out. Jump back to the website. And actually just paste it right in. Because this is slightly different. This is not the iframe code. This is the actual URL. And by putting that in, you'll see that automatically it puts the video in for you. Now, the problem with this is that, yes, it puts the video in, and if your website's been built by ourselves, there should not be an issue at all. You can do that. That's really, really quick and easy for you. But if your website hasn't been done by ourselves, you may find that it's not been set up in a way for this to work. So uh, you might have to refer uh, to the, the other option, the iframe option, for it to work. It's just that this, as you can see, puts it in at full size, and with the other option, uh, you're able to control the size. Let's jump back and I'll just show you this one more time. Okay, so this is the more sort of long window option, is by coming in, getting your embed code. Now if you go show more, it'll show you the size of the video. And what you can do is you can actually change the size. You can go bigger, smaller, and that's giving you the size in pixels. Now, if I, I always think that 480 by 360 is quite a good wee size. You want to go a wee bit bigger, you can select that. You can also select show player controls, etc, etc, which you don't get with the link option. But, as I say, it's really up to you what you find is easier. I've got the habit, I always just do that. Because again, you might be in a big page full of text, then you can just come in, find your X's, and then just automatically paste that in. And you'll see that this time it's slightly bigger. Alright, so that's option one. We bit more long winded. It's the iframe option, and works works as sweet as a nut, it does the job for you. I quite often do it that way anyway, um, but as I say, a lot of my clients would do it the other way, which is a lot easier. They just come in, 
they get a video, they copy the link, and they get in there, they press paste, and in goes the video. All right, so, and then once you're done with that, just finish up any text, obviously add your categories, featured images, etc. to go with your post. Um, or if it's in a page, you don't have to worry about any of that. That's really just for your blog section. And click update or publish, and boom, you're done. So that's how to add a YouTube video to your WordPress website. Thanks for watching. I hope this is of value to you. And if any of our clients out there are having any difficulties or problems with doing this, you know, just to lift the phone, give us a wee shout, or drop us an email. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day now. Bye for now.